Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the garage. Unplanned maintenance for this weekend is the Bank One Sensor One O2 sensor on 2010 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 liter engine. I've managed to get um, get to the sensor. It's not too bad to get to. You don't have a lot of room to move, but using a 7 8 inch crow's foot and a ratchet I think that I can get this guy broken loose. Hopefully this thing is gonna break loose. Let's see. I think I got it loose. This is so difficult to reach. There we go. If you have larger arms, you will not be able to get your hand up in there. I was blessed with skinny forearms, so I can get up in there. That's really tricky. I'm going to set the camera down and get this the rest of the way out. This exhaust is really hot. There we go. Now, I need to get it disconnected. The connector, the, uh, the wiring harness kind of has a tab that goes into this little, this little plastic piece here. If you want to go through the trouble of taking the heat shield off, then it's going to be a whole lot easier. But if you're, if you're patient and your hands or arms are small enough, you can get up in here and you can work it out of that then the wiring harness disconnects fairly easy. Just give it a little gentle tug. Getting the new one connected back in is a little trickier because you don't really have anything to lever off of. So you can get it started and then just clamp it together with your hands. Oh, look, I got it in. Guess I got it in a little bit. Not a lot. This is really challenging to try to video. Hope you guys appreciate this. I have no leverage. All right, I'm gonna have to use two hands. So the trick is, and I apologize for the lighting, the trick is once you get it started, if you can wiggle it back and forth, then it'll work its way in there pretty easily. 20 minutes later. So that was a little easier than I thought, a little tricky, but um, I thought it was going to be really tricky to get to the oxygen sensor and get it loosened. Um, it was not easy to get to, but I don't think I could have done it without a crow's foot. The oxygen sensor is in kind of at an upward angle. You got the, the firewall and the, the exhaust and everything is right there. The crow's foot makes it, not only makes it easier, I don't know how you would do it otherwise. I'm sure that I think there's a tool. There's a specific tool for removing O2 sensors. I don't have one. Um, so I've got this. I bought this set about five years ago um, at Harbor Freight. I saw it on the shelf. Wasn't exactly sure what I would ever use it for. And I have not used it in five years, but it was cheap. So I got it. Um, and now it came in extremely handy. And in this O2 sensor on the Ford F-150, it's a seven eighths uh, crow's foot. So just slide that guy on there and get it. The kind of the trick is it's six point, six point, so you have to get it leveraged just right, and then and then work it that way. The more tricky part was getting the connector done, uh, getting the connector released not from the actual wiring harness, but this little keeper that keeps it in. That was a little tricky, um, but you can. If you can get your hands up in there, you can work it out. If you can't get your hands up in there, you're gonna, you almost have to remove the, the heat shield that's over the exhaust. I didn't wanna go through all that trouble, so I really worked my arms up in there. So there we go, O2 sensor. It took me about an hour. Um, this cost me 100 bucks for the part, 
and this would have been another $200 in labor if I'd have taken it to the shop. So I saved myself a couple hundred bucks, took me an hour, give or take. Um, and it wasn't, wasn't that bad. The trick is having the right tool to get to it. So if you have a check engine light on your car, don't ignore it. It means something needs to be looked at. Um, so this was the Bank One Sensor One uh, oxygen sensor and the Ford F-150 with the 5.4 liter. Uh, that is on the passenger side before the uh, catalytic converter. Um, so the engine code was a P0130 and I've done a test drive. Seems to be working fine. So as far as I know, I did it right. I hope this video helped. If it did, let me know. And um, I appreciate you guys subscribing. Thanks for, thanks for watching the channel. And I hope you have a great day. See you.